The basic white girl. Love her? Hate her? You probably don't understand her. The first thing to understand about the basic white girl is her extreme pack-like animalistic tendencies. While it is possible to find a basic white girl strayed from her pack, it's rare. A pack of basic white girls is known as a bagel, whereas an individual basic white girl is known as a bagel bite. There are two main subspecies of the basic white girl. The first, and statistically the larger group, is known as the type 1 bagel. It's defined by high levels of the trait exclusivity. While it might be hard for an untrained eye to tell the two apart, a trained professional will take note of subtle cues such as the constant stream of chitter chatter and giggles that never leaves the inner circle. A friendly greeting by an outsider met with the cold and unforgiving glare. The constant process of refinement that compares its members to the standard of the ideal bagel and casts out all who lack adequate conformity. It's important to note that while of course all male humans are kept at a maximum distance, this exclusivity applies even more so to females who are outside of the bagel. It's a common misconception that bagel bites compete to gain male attention and praise, and while that may be true to some small extent, the main reason they compete is to gain status and rank among females in general and the bagel specifically, the strict social hierarchy breeding vicious competition. The type 2 bagel, on the other hand, is defined by its extreme and often absurd obsession with positivity. This positivity can be observed when a type 2 bagel bite posts a selfie, and almost immediately you might notice that the comment section is filled to the brim with the most lavish of praise stating that she's the most hot babe to have ever snapped a selfie. Well, this positivity is then compounded by the original poster replying to each and every comment, throwing that praise back in their faces. No, that's all you girl. This type 2 positivity dynamic is also seen in things such as long girl dates at coffee shops and motivational quotes written in lipstick on bathroom mirrors and the constant messaging that you are worthy and you are enough. Ironically, it's often this focus on positivity that is the source of much insecurity, negativity, and self-doubt, sometimes even depression. The constant messaging from her bagel that she's worthy and she's enough and her clearly being neither, causing much cognitive dissonance. One might find it counterintuitive that often a type 1 bagel will include a single type 2 bagel bite. Well, what's happening here? Is the bagel now accepting substandard members? Of course not. What's happening is a common method of recruitment, a charity case of a female they deem malleable enough to be crafted into one of their own. Well, this type 2 bagel bite will often drift towards the back of the group, remaining largely silent and even sometimes smiling at a stranger. Well, these traits are often lost as she's assimilated or else she's cast from the group. Well, of course, this just scratches the surface of what you need to know to begin understanding the basic white girl. It's important to note that being a basic white girl is kind of similar to Vanilla's place in the world of ice cream. Basic, yes, but undeniably amazing. And rarely will you ever find a basic white girl to be purely basic if you take just a moment to look beneath the surface.